Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take apart and replace the battery on your iPhone 8. Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, take apart, how to open up your Apple iPhone 8 to replace the battery inside. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's get started. First thing we need to do... Uh, to open up this iPhone is we're gonna need to give it some heat okay so we're gonna either need to heat it up with a hairdryer or with a heat gun or put you we can set it on a hot plate to heat it up to loosen up the adhesive that is holding on the screen okay so that uh, once it is hot enough we'll be able to begin to pry up on the screen all right uh, so like I said you can use either a hairdryer you can use a heat gun or you can place it on a hot plate if you're going to use a heat gun you have to be very careful because heat guns are very powerful and it can burn your motherboard or it could burn your screen it could damage the inside of your phone and completely damage it and ruin it all right so be very careful my suggestion is use maximum 100 degrees celsius uh, and leave it on there for about a minute or two uh, because at that heat level it will never damage your motherboard all right so uh, if you're going to use a hair dryer or a heat gun you're going to want to place it uh, at least four inches away from the phone okay and you're going to want to move it around consistently never staying in the same spot because if you stay in the same spot uh, you can damage the uh, motherboard or you can damage the LCD screen as well. Alright, so before we begin the repair, first thing you want to do is make sure that you turn off your iPhone 8. Okay, once it is completely powered off, then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so first step is we're going to be removing the two bottom pentalobe screws here with a pentalobe screwdriver. like all of the other previous iPhone models. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and heat it up. So let's go ahead and heat it up. Uh, since I do this uh, daily, I have a hot, hot plate, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up on my hot plate. I'm gonna set up my hot plate to 110 degrees Celsius. I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so uh, since I have a hot plate, I'm going to go ahead and place it on the hot plate. I'm going to go ahead and place it like this. And keep it on there for about a minute or two. Okay, so once you feel uh, the phone is hot enough, uh, you're also going to want to use some gloves. Okay, because uh, the phone is going to be a little bit hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the phone. All right, so here we have the phone. It's a little bit hot now. Hot to the touch, so that's why I'm using the gloves. Uh, we're going to want to get a suction cup. Okay, this is what's going to help us uh, be able to lift up on the screen just a little bit here. So we're going to lift it up until we see a small opening. Okay, once we see a small opening, we're going to have to stick a, a tool in between to help us uh, leverage and pry up okay there we go so I got a small opening there I stuck the tool inside and what we're gonna do now is uh, we're just gonna go around it okay we're gonna go around it completely like this on this side and then on this side as well Okay. And we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the suction cup now since we don't need it anymore to pull up. Okay, so as we can see, here we have uh, the iPhone 8 opening up. Okay, and it is. Uh, very similar already we can tell like the iPhone 7 
It has the cable right here that connects the LCD screen and the home button. Okay, so I'm guessing it's uh, it's going to be uh, pretty similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around the top here with the prying tool, just giving it uh, some extra pressure to lift up on it. Okay, we're going to uh, put the tool to the side now a little bit. We're going to pull down on the screen uh, just a little bit. Be very careful. Don't pull too hard because the cable is still connected. So you just want to wiggle it around. Oops, I'm turning it on by mistake. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lift it up right here, just like the iPhone 7. And there is the inside of the iPhone 8. It is very similar to the iPhone 7. The cables connect almost at the same places. The brackets uh, do look different. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off since I since I turned it on by mistake. Let's go ahead and power it off. Okay, so let's place it down. I'm going to remove my gloves now. Okay, so uh, with um, very important here, uh, looks like with the iPhone 8, they removed the uh, tri screws, that, but these are Phillips head screws. They are not tri point screws anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and remove those. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, this bracket, lift it up. Disconnect the flex cables. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery cable, which looks like it's gonna be this one right here. Small one right there in the middle. Okay, that is the uh, battery cable. So that we can uh, release power from the phone. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove these screws up here so that we can disconnect uh, the uh, front camera and speaker assembly, front speaker assembly. All right, let's remove this screw right here. Okay, and then we're gonna have another small Phillips head screw up here that we're gonna have to remove. And then we can go ahead and remove the top bracket. Okay, so in order to uh, remove and replace the battery, okay, uh, obviously we're going to make sure first that it's disconnected, okay? Then what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have to give it some heat, okay, which is the way that I prefer to do it. There's also another way that you can do it, which is by pulling up on these two tabs right here, which, which are adhesive stickers that hold down the battery, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to completely remove the adhesive. I want to leave it on there for the new battery. So I'm going to give it some heat. Uh, you can do that either with a hair dryer, heat gun, or you can sit it on a hot plate. Okay, uh, give it a little, little bit of heat, not too much, so that you don't burn the uh, internals of the phone. Uh, I recommend about 100 degrees Celsius for about a minute or two. All right, so I'm going to give it a little bit of heat now, and uh, I'm going to show you how to pry up on it once uh, it's a little bit hot enough. Okay, uh, so yeah, once it's hot enough, uh, I've had it on the hot plate now for a little bit, pretty hot. Um, so uh, you may want to use some gloves so that you don't burn your hands. All right, so what we're going to do is, okay, so we're going to make sure that the battery cable is obviously disconnected. And we're going to need a prying tool to lift up on the battery gently. Okay, so we're going to lift up on it gently over here. Then a little bit here, and then a little bit here, and a little bit here. Okay, and we're gonna pry up on it. Okay, until it comes out completely. Okay, uh, it even came out with a little bit of the adhesive because it's very hot. So let's, uh, let's place this down. Okay, so here is uh, the battery. It's not been damaged, 
it's just a little bit bent here's the adhesive for the battery place that back on there okay all right so what you're gonna do is all right so you're gonna get your new battery that you're going to install on your iphone 8 all right and then you're just gonna place it right on there you may want to install some new adhesive uh, or use the old one to make sure that the battery sticks on there correctly Okay, give it some, a little bit of pressure to make sure that it sticks down once the battery is down Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect the screen. Let's go ahead and connect all the flex cables from the screen All right, so once you have uh, all of the cables connected once again, we can go ahead and uh, connect the battery cable back in. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the brackets back on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place these two back on first. All right, so once you have all of these screws and the brackets back on, okay, we can go ahead and close the phone back up. Okay, and we're gonna do this by first inserting the top part. So you're gonna kind of uh, give it an angle like this and lock up the top part in first. Like this, make sure it seals in there correctly. And then slowly, we're gonna move our way downwards. So we're going to give it pressure on the sides, and this side first, then this side, then this side. Okay, and then on the bottom, make sure it's closed up correctly. Okay, make sure that it's closed completely on all sides. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and place uh, the two bottom screws back on. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and... Close it up with the screwdriver. With the pentalobe screwdriver, close it up. All right, and they're both in. The phone is completely sealed and closed. Let's turn it on to test it out. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Ciao.